Get away from the sink, dude. Stop. Look at this water. Oh, oh God. No. <laughs> Birthing laboratory? What kind of a monster would do this? It's like Cylons or shit. These poor women. This is torture. This is science. Oh my god, they're alive. Did you see how she just answered, finished our question, our sentence with the word yeah, science? Yeah, it's science. If this, doesn't this remind you of that scene with, from when the Cylons kidnapped the women and were trying to impregnate with them? Oh, I never watched the end of that show. Oh, it was in like season two, one or two. Mmm... Anyway, they had kidnapped the women and were, like, in trying to impregnate them. Oh, God. So this is what... These women must have families and lives. You can't do anything for them now. Soon the ship will run out of oxygen. They won't be in pain for much longer. The second in this place is more torture than anyone should bear. Uh, so I guess that's, he, so, but why did he need, did he, was he taking their uteruses out of them? Or? No, this is why they were asking for women who had, who were or had been, recently been pregnant. Yeah, I know that, but why oh, I specifically wonder if it's because, them? I wonder if it's because your hips, your hips, like, placement of your hips moves after you're pregnant? I, it has to do with something with their uterus. Maybe, it has to do with that, because of the uterus, something about maybe the uterine lining, mm. or... God, I can't believe you don't know this. I'm thinking... You who knows everything about the uterus. I'm, I'm thinking, like, did they want to put the fungus in the uterus because it had recently been pregnant? That's what I'm thinking, that they must have been wanting to put the fungus in the uterus, or put something in the uterus. Something about the way the uterus is... Soon after birth. Like, what is this? You know? Hybrid, Hybrid fetus. fetus. Maybe. She's trying to communicate, but her words are little more than slurred vowels. Her throat is dry, and she's clearly extremely weak. Seated in the chair is a woman in her mid-30s, head shaved, limbs atrophied, turnescent in pregnant... Oh... Tumescent in pregnancy, she's connected to a machine that feeds and sedates her. You remember seeing Renaissance era sculptures of nuns in Holy Communion, their eyes rolled back, bodies contorted in ecstatic agony. There's a hint of expression across the unconscious woman's face. I need your help. What did he just do? I'm gonna help you. Just close your eyes. Is, are we killing him? Uh, use the bandage with the sink, and then use the Just sink to have the water running and flowing over. So you wake up from this. Oh, he's killing them. Oh. He is? He's saying just breathe in and out and soon you'll, oh, maybe some, I would kill him. Yeah, but I don't think the game would just, like, decide. He knows that, he knows that the ship is going to run out of oxygen, and so. Sack of organic matter sways peacefully. They don't look human. Hybrids? I can't tell. How, how would she immediately say hybrids? Uh, because he knows she's, he's. In Project Seed. Oh, there's a PDA. Oops. Yeah, I was. I want to see this explained. Mm-hmm. What is it about the uterus? What is it about the, <laughs> the uterus? <laughs> oh no, it's a defibrillator. <gasps> oh, okay, so can we kill them? That defibrillator would not. What? It does. If you do it. Mm, I don't think that'll work. Damn it. Okay. Can someone explain? Someone explain why the uterus needs to be fresh. Now shove the bandage into the sink. Okay, and that will make it overflow or something? There'll be this so our stuff is building a sink. Turn it on. Oh god, oh god, it's gonna shit. So 
what does that do? Uh, is the band? Oh, there's spilled water now. Yeah. Now what? I think maybe it freaks out the robot. I guess. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, that we use the defibrillator. Oh, right. On the water. Okay. Yes. Now we can enter the the mutagen laboratory lab holy crap mutagen laboratory. What? Are, <gasps> <gasps> oh god! What is it? Pulsating mass of flesh and bone. I like how he was like stopped himself. Oh no, or, that's or, rude. Or why you? Oh, uh, excuse uh, me, that was a rude question. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh boy. <laughs> they said I'd never make it to 60. <laughs> 85, you fuckers. Old and still cooking with gas. Three bastard kids and I outlived them all. Okay, I was young when I had them. Those girls never knew I was their father, of course. I had, had to switch the DNA samples so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for that, but you never need to completely lose your eye for ladies. <laughs> oh. I might have false teeth, but Dr. Mallon, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I am a sociopath and alleged rapist of women. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is. But your little speech to the crew was l was less sincere than anything I could say with a straight face. At least you know how to turn a blind eye whenever I have to get rid of troublesome subjects, right, Milan? The new gas for the chamber is working splendidly, and improved kill rate of sixty percent on the old formula. I watch those poor fuckers writhe and die. We have a few. Ing we have a viewing window now, just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it perverse. It's lucky for Project Seed that I wouldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have the answers to everyone with a conscience. I'm 85 year old, but I'm, on the inside, I'm an edgy 14 year old. Yeah. This will not do. Not at all. I need more subjects. The, s the rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is strat stratospheric. So not only I need, do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me in ports and strays, but the best results are achieved with crew members. One cannot prey too often on those, of course. No matter the need, my chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnaces are inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh, though, and the smell is hardly pleasant either. It reminds me of the of the injured dog that I found a little... Oh, oh no. A, as a little boy growing up in Missouri. It looks... It looked at... We're gonna skip that. I can't. Not when AG's right there. I must get more path... More pathway. The little prick de Santos is us usually more than forthcoming with its ingredients. But he says it's a, his own supplier having problems. I know you, DeSantos. I know you're not a real doctor. I know the kind. I have five PhDs and can tell when a me when men have their, been hired for their instincts rather than their knowledge. How meanwhile the cutting and splicing continues. Oh, Charlotte, we all know about your little experiment, you stupid bitch. First she kills her partner by accidentally exposing him to leth a lethal virus, and then she goes gaga for him. What? That's the sort of beautiful incompetence that slays me. I spent years perfecting the art of the kill, making a murderer appear a mishap, and she went and did it all completely by accident. What a perfect nonsense. 
I held a subject down today and used my surgical hammer to cave in his windpipe. Okay. Wow. Then I gouged out his eyes and tried to rip his jaw from his socket. My goodness, what an outburst. I'm I'm becoming careless and I need more pathway. Dr. Milan is starting to worry that my tendencies cannot be controlled. He needs not worry. I'm still f focused on my seed. What is with it with making video games have really old crippled men do very high strength things? When else? When else? What? When else? In 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 heavy rain when we were fighting that super old dude. Oh yeah. And he was like, we were like kicking him and punching him, and he was like, I'm fine. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're 85. <laughs> I can't think of any other times though. I think this, this part is too edgy for me. <laughs> Very edgy. Seed is still just that, a seed. But this chrysalis will soon break open and blossom. The successfully bred homo novi wait in their containment cells, while their unsuccessful brethren, reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached the containment seals of the ship, grow. Its genetic makeup may be little more than trash, but it is astoundingly tenacious. I have to respect that which kills with such efficiency. Oh, you missed a bunch. Um, I must get more pathway. Is that what did it? Or this will not do. I don't know which one. Okay, so go to the next one. Uh, and next. I woke up in the emergency room today. Somebody found me on the stairs. I can't remember which. I can't remember much. What I do know is that the bo that both my fucking legs are up in casts. I better get comfortable because Dr. Green says I'll be in here for at least a month. We die as the Novi cut us down, but I'm not ready to be replaced by a new species. Oh, I guess he named them. Our creations are impressive, but I don't share Milan's fantasm for fanaticism. What, fanaticism for what is happening here. I must try to make sure one of the lifeboats is available for me. A shame there would oh, so maybe the guy who keeps talking to us is Milan. Um, is that what his name was? I don't know. I'm just saying. A shame there was not another for that de delectable young thing. What was her name? Callister. What? I wouldn't I would have liked to have her around when this ship was going to hell. She's dead, however. How unfortunate. I may be old, but I'll tear at anyone who tries to stop me from leaving a part from leaving a part at this at the limbs. I have survived police investigation, course cases, vengeful spouses, and idealistic lab hands. I will gut any shitbag trying to prevent my escape, and that includes you, Milan. I will jab out your eyeballs and eat them before I submit to you. Is he who is this person? I mean, he they've he's clearly a very disturbed man. He's like he, he's a mad scientist, I would believe is. I know, it just seems so edgy. Like uh -huh. edge lord. All right. Uh, exit. Ooh. Conjoined twins? Where? Here? I don't know. You you hovered over it and then you moved. So I don't know which thing it is. Oh, the corpse of a creature hang, hangs preserved. It may have been a twin, to have been a twin. Two heads are fused together and a pair of spines meets. Each spine wraps around the other like a gnarled mountain range. Um, so... Very, very large infant. Conjoined mass. One failed experiment, a lump of organs held together by wrinkled skin, bone pokes through the flesh in spots. So, so this guy's weird. Read out screens, it has an eyeball and like weird shit. In the mutagen laboratory, there are two human skeletons at the far end of the room with a nitrogen container between them. Liquid this nitrogen canister. The purpose of the Green Lake. It's not on Earth. People can't see it, so they don't care. But if they knew. So what? What do you mean, so what? 
The nitrogen canister now, and let's open this up. When you have it, exit and turn left and go to the elevator platform and use platform to go to the upper level. If they were more open... Open to who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? A podcast. A bit of our humanity, I suppose. Go where? Go to the elevator. Where's that? Here? Um, it said turn left, but it, that doesn't appear to be anything that we can go to, right? Mm hmm. Um. No. Da, 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 da. Elevator platform and use platform to go to the upper level. On the upper level, there is an airlock with a red light indicating it can't be opened. Uh, what elevator? It's got to be a different elevator. Um, Maybe it's over here. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Here, this thing. Oh, right. It's hard to see, like... What things are. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that was a level above. Yeah, me too. Reason. I thought it was the same level. It's yeah. hard. Warning. The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. Use the liquid nitrogen canister from the inventory and place it against the airlock. Then use the high temperature slug gun on the airlock to blast it open. These, like, okay. <laughs> I don't have, what? Where did it go? Oh, you didn't. Oh yeah, because we died. Forgot. Yeah. Run! Run, John! Run! Run! You just had your spine opened. I'm a dad. I'm a dad. I'm a dad. I don't need a spine. Yeah, this is another dad going to get his kid. I'm a dad. I don't need a spine. And I don't need oxygen. I just need my daughter. But your daughter needs oxygen. Ooh, shut up. Shut up. You don't know what it, it's like to be a dad. I'm not going to tell the police. What are you doing, dude? What? Shoot it. Um, oh, it's a very specific... Here we go. Damn. Whoa. Here we go. Go on through. Um. What? What? Oh, I thought he was going to run right into that thing. Laser. Oh, great. Oh, <gasps> my God. It's aliens. Oh, my God. It's aliens for real. Huh. Oh, that alien's alive. I know. They're hybrids. Hybrids of what, though? They're almost human. Especially their eyes. Don't get too close. What are they? What are they? They're human hybrids. With what? I don't know. It has fallen from the operating table only to crawl around in aimless peregrination, no doubt delirious. But they look like gray men, you know how the, the classic depiction of yeah. aliens? Oh my god, and then they go into a time portal and go to the past and do experiments on us for revenge! Good. Well, maybe that's why they uh, abduct us and, you know, probe our butts. <laughs> yeah, they did weird stuff to us. Now we'll do weird stuff to you. But why? I don't know. I just... I. It never Shut made up. sense before why they would, you know, make creator comments. <laughs> but, like, I have come to do unto you what you have done to me, creator! People are like, what? What? <laughs> this shit is straight out of the eugenics war. I taught this in my history class. All of this research will be lost. Does that mean that this was for Oh nothing? my god. For nothing. Is he serious right now? Is he gonna be like, 
all this suffering needed to be for something. No, <laughs> it's like all this suffering and no one's ever going to hear about it. So no one's ever going to like learn from it or anything. You know what I mean? Healthy organism. Emaciated starving organism. Like it's, like it's not like, oh, there's a silver lining to it. It's more just like. No, but you know how sometimes at the end of like movies they'll be like, they had to suffer for something. I will save this data because of blah 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 blah. I'm a dad. Mm -hmm. What do you think we're gonna see at the end of this, dude? Your da your daughter's not gonna be okay. After what you've That's seen. pretty clear, right? She's probably going to be Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's going to be somebody, like, wearing her skin. Oh, well, I think he'd be fine with that. Is she wearing her skin? Yeah. And I'll take looked, what I can get. And she get. looked like a deflated balloon. You know what? Sometimes you just got to take what you can get. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. And there's our daughter. The creature squirms in its medical restraints. And great black eyes and a sunken gray face glare with malice. Yeah, they look exactly like gray men. Mm -hmm. And this all this shit looks like it's from like the 70s. What's Mainframe going on? Computer. What? What is going on? I'm confused. How are are we going to go into a time portal and then they get into the past? Is this what What? With what? What are they hybridized with? I I don't think that's important. It's important to me. Don't go any further. I'm warning you now. How? How could you do this? I do with my children as I see fit. It's barbaric. Spare me the pity of the righteous. Your daughter owes her life to me. What do you know about Rebecca? ARG was good on this ship, Mr. Marichek. Cancer, HIV, Ebola. I eliminated them all. Oh, I wonder if... Her life is mine to do with as I choose. I... Oh, yes. I know about everything. I know about your daughter and all about your wife. What does he mean by know about them? You are accountable. Jan, his signal, John. You need to hurry. We're close. What did we do to our daughter and our wife? What did he know about them? Oh, I didn't. I didn't catch that. That's not how I read that. Like, I know, I know about them. Like, that that's who you're looking for. Oh, oh so, so that's that. Dr. Milan. It sounded like he was like, I know about them. And he was like accusing him because he saved his daughter from something. Because remember, she was talking not typically at the beginning of the game. Yeah. And why would they be going somewhere? Like, what if they were going somewhere to give treatment for her? Maybe. They said ARG. Whatever that. I don't know. Yeah, something's... She was sick with something, maybe. 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 that's why she was talking like that. I need to pee. Okay. Alright. And now we go read the crazy man's manifesto? Yeah. I'm very sure that he probably, like... The only reason why he would feel like... Well, there's probably a million reasons other than the God complex, but... He would feel like his daughter belongs to him now is because he saved her from something, you know? Yeah. So ARGs may be what she has. The new year begins, the wheel turns, and the groom leg continues to lead the, uh, the vanguard of scientific discovery for all of humankind. Yet I feel dissatisfied. Even as the peons who work under me celebrate the new year, I wonder why. Why would you celebrate such an asinine concept as an outdated Gregorian calendar on a ship that's currently swimming through the depths of space? The reason is clear. Comfort. They fear the unknown, the alien, the impossible. I do not. I embrace the unforgiving cosmos with open arms. The problem 
is with the research we do is the problem with the research we do is the humans doing it, constrained as they are by conscience, remorse, and sometimes even fear. We try to grasp the infant and give it and give it a framework that ill fits its cosmic splendor. This is my tenth year as special projects director of Kane Corporation. Despite my discoveries and quest for knowledge, I'm held back by every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists and what and that group of of degenerate Toadies? Toadies. Toadies that I sit on the board with. If I were rid of them, then my word would be God. My word. Not the word of a corporation. Still, they have their uses. The research is funded by Kane and Groom Lake. It's the research is funded by Kane and the Groom Lake is kept running by the money and personnel they provide. But the time will come when all this changes. You mark my words. I'm in... I'm inundated with emails from all departments about inconsistencies with storage and contaminated samples. This grand masquerade is sometimes more tedious than it's actually worth. Worst of all was Dr. Wei and that technician, Miss Callister, is it? I'd normally make short work of such troublemakers, but it hardly seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble, because if they disappear, that limits legitimizes their claims, and somebody will always take up the fallen crusader's torch. Dr. Backman's tendencies are, are becoming harder to restrain. I'm well aware of his shortcomings. The old man is, in, is as brilliant as he is deranged, yet manages to go about his work with a sociopathic glee. He uses, he's, he's useful to have around. He has requested more bodies for seed, specifically more women who were recently pregnant. That is problematic, as we have very few such women on board, and imports are not easy to come by. We may have to play... We may have to play this one under the radar. That fool, Dr. Gray, complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of the, as a result of the power outages. So what? Let them spill out into the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand to one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time. A little fact he's unlikely to tell anyone, although he does seem quite happy to contact anyone who's interested with the op opinion that he's been, he'd be the next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you would not, could not handle what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you're a great fool. You're a gr as great a fool as I imagine you to be. When the day I... When the day that I foresee comes, your rotting corpse will be under my feet, and I will laugh. Dr. Williams is still under the delusion that I don't know about her personal research. Officially, it's illegal for staff to conduct their own research, but this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid? Nice. How fascinating! If it works, I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then it'll burn with the rest of the rejects. The woman is obsessed, and I know that DeSantos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secret research won't cause me any problems, or I would have, or I would never have allowed her on Project Seed. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, she's in love with her husband, or whatever. Yeah. Making a hybrid. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> You no, know, he's like, nice! Mad science, okay. He's I like, like her. Yeah. She's got determination. He's like, I can get down with that. So, it seems contaminated waste from the corpse disposal overspill is contaminating the ship. It's causing fungal growths, or so my various drones tell me. The fungus is a riveting proposition, though. While I'm angry at Dr. Backman for terminating more subjects than strictly necessary, these unintended side effects are fascinating. I intimated as much to Dr. Gray, and of course stroked his ego with hints at promotion and glory. He'll keep the fungus alive. The engineers want it destroyed, but I'm, sure, but I'm sure we can delay that. This experiment is becoming more engaging by the day, and I haven't even had to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and Rome burns, I plan to play the violin. You're more than secure here anyway, and this has a certain inevitability about it. I must record the daily developments as the experiment grows. So, he dosed everyone and went, Ha ha ha, science! Everybody's doing weird shit now. I don't... And then, 
that one guy was destroying more bodies than the ship could handle on disposing of and then so the bodies were getting genetic experiments on them and then that turned it into a fungus there's fucked up shit everywhere i think is what we're learning so but i'm just trying to say he drugged everybody which made people start making more irrational decisions than they were already making that crazy guy was disposing more of his genetic experiments than the disposal could handle which resulted in a hybridized human something fungus as we thought the fungus is originated from human flesh and then Cause the fungus a- got spread around the ship and he went that's cool let's grow roll with it well so he encouraged them to grow it but the fungus was at first a mistake due to the bodies not being disposed properly yes and so then when the fungus uh, dis- the engineers were basically like, hey, we should destroy this because it's dangerous. And then Milan went to Dr. Backman, I think, and said, hey, or Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray and said, no, keep it alive because it's cool. No, keep it alive. Like, you'll get promoted. You're in charge of, like, I don't know, the fungi project. Because you're a fun guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> It is as I foresaw, panic, destruction, and mayhem. And yet, Seed continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of detritus and repurpose all of it for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine, my friends. I am God. Okay. So he just wanted everyone else on the ship to die so he could replace it all with just Seed projects. That was his master plan? I don't know that that was his master plan from the beginning, but I think that at some point that became the plan. Ah. My beautiful children have excelled themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal species without any of the trappings of morality. It's their time now. They almost came to be once, many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of its natural successors. This this systematic extermination was given a name, the eugenics wars. The public knew it was as corporate warfare. In truth, it was a coordinated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for Professor Guerin's astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I came in. I spent most of my life as part of Cain, trying to access Professor Guerin's original work. Old man Cain pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal, the utilization of science for the perfection of humanity. Where we differed were the methods by which this was to be achieved. Not that he had much more to say after I held that pillow to his face as he lay in his hospital bed, all for a higher purpose. Creation of our species from raw subjects will become impossible now that the crew are dead, dying, or unclean, but that's hardly an issue. Any subjects who were flawed or imperfect have been turned into the fertilizer that will mature the that will nurture the perfection of the surviving race. Now the challenge is moving the Groom Lake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape this ship alive. Any good, strong survivors will become members of the new race. I am their creator. I control. I transcend. DeSantos, I'm so very disappointed in you. A distress signal? I thought we were of one mind here in Seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. Your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide from me, Marvin, you drug-peddling little fuck. Oh, that's a life... Oh, another PDA. Robert Lincoln. I've been reassigned to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists in the employ of Dr. Milan. A strange matter, to be sure. I've been observing the movements of some of these eggheads, and I can't say I'm too impressed. Doesn't anybody around here record their comings and goings or make any notes? There's no traditional organization in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody. This is, I know, but I thought these scientific types always made notes. Not that I care about admin, but I very much care about finding out who's selling weapon-grade secrets. Industrial secrets are 
a matter of life and death, especially death in this case, my investigation will be thorough and no stone will be left unturned. The staff here are strange. In fact, I'd say lots of them are even crazy, but I couldn't care less about that. I just want names and answers. I think you should care a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> They all seem crazy, but I just want answers. I think those are linked. I think linked. you want both. I think, though, I think those two things might be linked. But I, I, I'm not telling you to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> I got this job because I get things done, not because of my warm and caring personality. At the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is a constant and essential part of shipboard life, especially when we're talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, but it seems, based on the modified records I've found, that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man would assume that these two were the criminals, but I don't buy that. As far as suspects go, I've ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. Charlotte, because she doesn't know where she is half the time, and DeSantos, because he's just a smirking shit for brains. I'm confident that he's involved in drug dealing, and I will give him this. He's cautious and acts like he's a real ladies' man. But I know the truth. I've seen him rejected repeatedly at the bar. Since July, I've had to operate under the pretense that I'm an assistant. It's lucky that in my career, I had some emergency room experience. The only other person who knows about my true purpose here is Dr. Milan. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation, and at times is a little overhelpful. Still, he seems honest enough. For the record, I'm well aware of, a, of the kind of man Dr. Milan is. I've seen his experiments with my own eyes. I've seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of and the burning fires at the furnaces. But he does what he's re what's required to justify the means. There are few men in this world who will do what has to be done. For that, I admire him. He told me to watch over Dr. Williams' experience. It seems they're unofficial, and although I prepared a report to Kane to have her removed from her position, Dr. Milan immediately overrode my request. I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. Backman, of all people, was sniffing around today. It seems the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Milan for further instructions, and he told me to incapacitate the old man. This I did. A shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, I was hoping to slit, slit his throat too, but Dr. Milan insisted that he remained alive. This is- This guy's insane too! They're all insane. <laughs> this is- the, He's talking- Remember when the guy said he woke up with his legs in caps? In casts? Yeah, I That's do. That's what happened to him. Yep. Alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm revising my earlier opinion of DeSantos' character. I think he's a pathetic- I still think he's a pathetic little shit, but I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur put up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with DeSantos soon, but it, first I've got to monitor his movements. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. Dr. Milan has earmarked me for one of his experiments. I know this because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to Kane Corporation, I discovered that my access was restricted and blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Milan waiting here. He was waiting with two of those hellish critters that he's created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I'm currently awaiting what he calls processing. I suppose at this stage I should make peace with God. I've killed many men in my life, and I'll never say that I feel remorse for it. And I won't give Dr. Milan the satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last notes on this affair are that Dr. Milan himself is at the heart of the events on board the ship. I was blind to it. I refused to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought that scientists liked control, but, Mil but Milan breaks all the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, the missing scientists, I'm beginning to suspect he even knew that DeSantos was actually selling intelligence and may have fed him the information to sell. To what end, I don't know. I suspect it was because DeSantos kept Backman drugged to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he happened to have so Backman could continue his work. I can hear the, ma the machines being turned on. I welcome my fate. At least I know I did my, that I did my job for Kane Corporation. Wow, people really love Kane Corporation People here. take this. This is really, oh, yeah. this is a very intense workplace. They're, I know. <laughs> they're, I mean, their workplace culture is just... It's very not, toxic. Yeah, very toxic. 
I if I worked there, I'd be like, ah, I quit. Can you imagine interviewing for this place? You'd just be like, whoa, you're like your, you know, corporate culture is just no. Can't. From the very first thing I read, I don't know, the hours are kind of, the hours are great, the pay is great, but it's just boring watching kidnapped people. God, I hate taking care of these kidnapped people that I tell myself are prisoners, but even if they were prisoners, that's still really horrible. Mm-hmm. I'm going to forget about it. I'm gonna forget all about and it. And then everybody's moral qualms start with like, oh no children and i'm like that's where you bring that's where it begins well children and then also um my co-workers what not the children not the like anybody else no a lot of the time they were like oh my co-worker died oh. uh, i gotta clean up their body like Our- i don't know what he's doing he's trying to unlock glass how did we get down there i don't know break it I can't see it working like that. Okay, we've got bone mending glue. Bone mending glue. I don't think that'll work. Or, do we have to go through there? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Use the terminal in the room with the little aliens about birth reports. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think there's a terminal in here. Maybe? Is uh, it that? Is it that thing? Oh, next to the thing rolling around on the floor? Yeah. Oh, boy. Whoa. Okay. Lana! S- subject, Lana. Subject's host. Tara McCormick, first lieutenant, marine liaison. Subject, observation. Wait, hold on a second. So, she knew they, 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 they that there were hybrids here. Just pointing that out. Because before we even say what it is, she goes, hybrids? Well, she knows, but she knows that we're in, yeah, so. But most of the ship didn't even know these hybrids existed. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm saying she's either responsible for it, or she actually is wearing someone's skin. I think that she has something fishy going on. Maybe she's one of these things? That's, yeah. Okay. She's wearing somebody's skin. And she's, like, been trapped down. Okay, so... She said that she needed us. Yeah, so maybe she's trapped down here in... Because clearly, why would she... Else would she... Who... Here, you know? And she opened the door. She's like, oh, just kidding. It's me. Not your daughter. Oh, um, yeah. And um, you open the door. It's like, oh, it's me. Not your daughter. Or maybe the daughter's there. Who knows? But she wants you to come get her. Because she was upset when the doctor was talking to you when she wasn't around, and every time the doctor talks to you, she cuts him off. Mm -hmm. Because I think she's afraid that the doctor's gonna tell him that we're talking to one of his experiments. Mm. Possible. Subject observ- Oh, sorry. Subject observations. Rambunctious. Subject appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and latent aggression. Lana has the makings of an excellent alpha female candidate. Recommendations. Move Lana to a group cell as isolation appears to promote irritability. She's going to eat all of them. Daryl. Host, Willow Brody, nurse, medical deck. Uh, Subject observations. Quiet but intelligent. Attempted to pick the lock on his cell yesterday but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle solving skills and while not especially aggressive, has a strong build. A thinker, clearly. Host. Marie Maxwell. So the hosts, I assume, are the birth... The, the, mom. the birthers. For the birther, yeah. Uh, subject shows little of his mother's solid frame, but is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observing the others. Appears to be developing a strong tactile, tactical mind. Oh! What? That's our wife! <gasps> One to watch. Cunning. Cunning. Extraordinarily fast and dangerous. Appears to prefer isolation as attempting pairings that could result in fatalities. Takes an alpha role easily. Dominates the other Novi. A a definite candidate for Lana's mate. Well, you know what? At least uh, our wife's thingy was uh, totally badass. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what? Good job, Ellen. Oh, yeah. I knew that you would make the best one. Miss, miss, all this was for, like, at least this was for something. Like, oh, no. What are they saying? Like, at least this, like, something good came out of it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Remember when she kept saying, your daughter is down here? Your daughter's down here? Yeah. Oh, my God. She is our daughter. <laughs> no one is talking to us. She's our daughter. She's nay. Maybe. Uh, I don't know why she'd have our DNA, though, because that's our well, wife. Well, you know, but, you know. Our wife doesn't have our DNA. Doesn't. Well, you know, come on. She's She has an open idea of what a family is, okay? Um, if somebody has sex with your wife and has a baby with her, that doesn't no, make no, you no sex. No one had sex with Ellen. But if they, like, but if they impregnate her... I have a question. What? What if Ellen was recently pregnant? And the reason why he wants women who have been recently pregnant is because there's some leftover cells of the previous baby, and that's what he needs. Oh, why would she... Like, but... She supposed... Uh, that would mean that would have meant that she had, like, a child within the last year, probably. It was probably some other baby that she miscarried or something. Maybe. I just feel like... She keeps saying, your daughter's down here, your daughter's down here. Mm-hmm. And... Maybe it's the it's a it, that's her. baby. That's her. That's her. She's saying, this is where your daughter is. Come get me. Yeah. I'm your daughter. I'm a monster. Um... Uh, I mean, it's pretty clear that, like, no matter what we find, it's not going to be just, like, our daughter. Hi, Dad! Yeah. Okay, so we, that's, we read that's, this. Yeah, that's everything. I'm glad that we read that. Yeah. So what do we do now? Use the elevator platform to go to the lower level again and back to the mutagen laboratory. And use bone stuff. Use the bone mending glue on the power cell to get power cell housing lock imprint. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna craft a key to go into that thing. Sure, whatever. Okay. Um. I don't think that'll work. Oh my god! You see the power cell that is in the floor with the blue symbol. Use the bone mending glue to get the power cell housing lock imprint. Sometimes I click on it, but I click on it slightly to the left or something, and it doesn't. Um. And then use the twisted metal on the imprint to create a key. Nope. Yeah, I did it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that nobody that doesn't okay. I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. If you know, sense. I have a really hard time with puzzle games, like like point and click puzzle games like this, because of that. Because of that, because I don't think to use things in convoluted ways. Yeah, it's like you do things efficiently or something. Yeah. What the fuck is that? And it's like I don't know. I just would not. And that's why I would give up. Yeah. Power cell. We have a power cell now. There's another power cell in the other room. I'm gonna go get it, and you read ahead what we need to do. Pick up a power cell. Blah blah blah. First entered. Close power. Notice the closed power cell. Take the power cell housing key from the in inventory and repeat the same steps to get another power cell. I'm getting it. When you have it, go back to the birthing laboratory. Okay, after we do that, so now we got two power cells. Um, and then go back to the birthing room. Great. I love, I love the birthing room. My favorite room. There's one more power cell in the middle of the three pregnant women. God, I hope Repeat they Repeat the same steps and put the women out of their misery. Thank God. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. That's what pregnancy is like already. Just laying there and being like, kill me. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up enough. Oh, 
It will kill them. Do it. Do it. Okay, so now what do we do with the power cells? And oh, they're dying. I have to watch them die. What? Oh. Oh. Are you seeing this? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, oof. It's dark. Well, um, go back to the elevator platform and use the elevator to go on the upper level. And explode stuff. And enter through the door in front of you. And then enter the door on the left. There are three open power cell housings behind the creature. Place the power cells into the open power cell housings. When you've done this, there's behind a Behind the creature? What? Um, under the creature. Oh. Oh, I see it. Okay. Poor thing. What am I gonna do to it? Oh god. No, we're not doing anything to it. Use okay. the surgical laser use the surgical laser to break the glass wall. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a really obtuse puzzle. I'm like, why don't we just break it with the metal rod we have? I don't know. There's lots of obtuse puzzles in this game, but I really like the game. I know. I love the game. This is a great game to play with a walkthrough. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Definitely. It's like serious. <gasps> oh! Oh, shit! Oh, God. Try it again. I didn't want to do that. Oh. Oh, we had to kill somebody before... Guy's a dad for sure. Definitely a dad. Dad! What are you doing? Oh wow. <sighs> Idiot. Way to go, Dad. Okay, honey, I'm coming to get you. Oh, you're a mutant? Well, you're still my daughter to me. 